So something extraordinary just happened in Chandigarh. A 12-ton metal sled strapped with the nose of a fighter jet was blasted down a rail track at 800 km per hour. And in that split-second burst, India quietly joined one of the world's most elite defense clubs. It's a really important test that decides whether a pilot lives or dies. And India might have just aced it. Like, share and subscribe before we proceed to AM Network. Back again at the Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory, TBRL in Chandigarh, DRDO conducted one of the most complex dynamic tests in modern aerospace. It was a high-speed rocket sled ejection test at a speed of 800 km per hour. It was an indigenous system that was tested, which was equipped with a fighter escape system, with the objective being a canopy severance. And of course, a perfect ejection sequencing with a full aircrew recovery and survival loads on an anthropomorphic test dummy. And the entire sequence was captured through onboard and ground based cameras. Officials from the IAF and the Institute of Aerospace and Medicine stood watching, and here's the line every defense expert is talking about. This test places India in an elite club of nations with in house dynamic ejection testing capability. And dynamic tests are far more complex than static, zero zero, or net tests. They only simulate the real violence of ejection. You got the air drag, sonic pressure, canopy fragilization, and human load limits. These are things you can't ignore, and this is the test you cannot fake. Because you either save a pilot or you don't. And India just saved the pilot. Because DRDO used a dual sled system carrying the forebody of an LCA Pages. Multiple solid rocket motors fired in a phase sequence to hit a precisely controlled velocity and the dummy pilot inside registered neck and spine loads, limb accelerations, moment forces and stability during the shoot deployment. Everything matched expected survival thresholds. Rajnath Singh called it a milestone in India's journey to full defense self-reliance. He may be right because ejection systems are among the most sensitive technologies in military aviation. Very, very few countries master them and India just did. This breakthrough lands at a time when India's defense ecosystem is moving at a pace that's not seen in decades because India is already in advanced discussions on the Su-57 and more S-400 regiments. Once again, we've covered all of these developments extensively here on front page, so make sure to check it out if you haven't already, that is. Ahead of the President Vladimir Putin's visit, the Kremlin has confirmed that India is interested in additional S-400 systems and Su-57 fifth generation stealth jets are also on the table. And you know, the tech transfer discussions are back again. Because India's ability to test ejection system on its own soil strengthens the case for deeper aviation collaboration. And India is negotiating the world's first AI-powered rifle fire control system, the ARBEL. It's a system that's built by IWI and Adani Defense. It uses real-time ballistic computation, MEMS-based firing algorithms, automatic precision burst release, and this takes infantry warfare into the age of software-defined combat. Because India just tested its multi-layered integrated defense weapon system, IADWS, for the first time ever. It also demonstrated QRACM, VSHO RADS, you know, directed energy weapons, all neutralizing targets simultaneously, and this is the backbone of future air dominance. Because you also got the BrahMos, which is about to close $450 million in export deals, and interest obviously surged after Operation Sindur, where BrahMos was the IAF's def defense weapon of choice. And countries now want what India uses in real com combat. Now, let's take it together. You got the rocket sled, IADWS, Arbel, S-400 and BrahMos. So you're looking at a defense ecosystem maturing across each and every domain like air, land, sea, cyber, space, and now AI-driven infantry. So most people see this as a pilot safety test. But everybody, here's the real picture. This is India proving that it can build, test, and certify complex aviation systems without foreign supervision. Because once you master ejection sequencing, canopy severance, and pilot survival biomechanics, and with high-speed platform testing, you unlock a larger door. You can now certify next-gen fighters on your own soil. 
you got the AMCA, HLFT, 2-seat, 257E joint work and even future UCAV escape systems. So tonight's rocket sled test may look like a small event, but it isn't. This is India declaring that we don't need a foreign safety test, test net anymore. We can test, certify, validate and deploy our own aviation systems from fighters to air defense to infantry weapons and to missile platforms. And folks, let's take a pause because we all remember the tragic event that struck our own hero, our pilot at the Dubai Air Show. Events like that only reiterate the need for such systems even more. And this one test in Chandigarh might be the most important defense story of the year because the world buys your weapons only when you trust your weapons. And today, India proved the trust on the rails at 800 km per hour. Let us know how proud you are on this update and how this makes you feel in the comments below. I for one are is immensely proud. Remember, this is front page by AIM Network. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think AIM.